Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. So the other day we did a video on the Lenovo ThinkCenter 900M Tiny, this tiny mini PC that I got on Amazon for only $129 or something of that nature. And um, I told you in that last video I was going to go ahead and try out Chrome OS Flex on it. And so that's what we got here. I got it installed and up and running and everything. We're on the stable channel. We're on Chrome OS Flex uh, 118. And I'm really impressed with this thing. This thing screams on Chrome OS Flex. If you've subscribed to the channel, you know I've got a lot of videos covering Chrome OS. And generally I'm testing it on uh, little laptops with Celeron processors, old MacBooks, things like this. And uh, so this is probably the most powerful uh, unit that I've went ahead and installed Chrome OS Flex on it. And it's kind of night and day. This thing is super fast. Here you can see uh, this machine has the Intel it's a 6th generation Core i5 6500T CPU and I think that's a 35 uh, watt processor this thing came with 16 gigs of RAM 256 gig SSD now if you watch my video from last week talking about this ThinkCenter PC I said that the Wi-Fi wasn't working on Windows uh, and I thought it was because there was that cable disconnected on the M.2 Wi-Fi card that we opened it up and looked at but now that I'm in Chrome OS Flex, I was able to connect to Wi-Fi. It worked properly. I also have Bluetooth working on this thing. I was able to connect to my phone and use the, the Phone Center application, which is, well, my fat head's in the way, but it's down there in the corner. And so that's something interesting to know. So let me close out of this. I went ahead and I got Linux set up. Note that I did have to go in the, to the BIOS on this machine and enable the CPU virtualization. It was really easy to do. Really quick and easy. Uh, Linux installed, fired right up. I went ahead and tested out Inkscape. I always like to put on Inkscape because uh, the funny thing is on my uh, Apple Silicon M1 MacBook Air, Inkscape, Inkscape runs like a dog on that thing. But uh, you know, here on the Linux container on Chrome OS Flex on this old mini PC, it is just really snappy and everything's uh, pretty quick. Anyway, I've done some other Linux testing. Everything's like really fast on this. Definitely faster and more capable than all those uh, Celeron laptops I've tested out. And at a lower price. Like I said, this thing I got on Amazon is only um, what $129. Fully loaded. It even came with a Windows 10 product key. Which, obviously, I took Windows 10 off of it. But yeah, I would say if you are looking for a desktop that is not interested in gaming this is actually a pretty good option now you obviously don't have the versatility that a laptop does but you know for a PC that doesn't take up any room at all and is gonna be running fast this is a this is an awesome option I'm really pleased with how Chrome OS is running on this if there's anything you guys want me to test on Chrome OS Flex uh, let me know because in a few weeks here, I'm probably gonna be turning this into a Linux server so I want to get all the Chrome OS testing out of the way on this thing before that time. So I will test anything out that you guys want me to. I didn't put on Steam or anything. I figured this thing has no graphics card. It's got like the integrated Intel. It's not even the Iris graphics. It's a 530 whatever. I don't expect it to be able to really run any games. I did test out when this thing had Windows on it. Maybe I'll test it out here. A uh, game that does use quite a bit of GPU, My Colony 2. It's a web browser based game. Let me just go ahead and see if it runs without bringing this thing to its knees. It barely ran on Windows, so I doubt Chrome OS will be any different. But we'll just hop in and see. She's loading, she's thinking about it. That's Yeah, I mean it's choppy trying to scroll scroll around, but it is still loading 3D models right now, so we'll see in a minute. But yeah, I'm not going to expect any kind of gaming performance out of this thing. The fan hasn't spun up yet on this. I noticed this machine was a little louder on Windows 10. On Chrome OS Flex here, I have i haven't really heard the fan at all, which is good. Actually, this is running pretty smooth. Just scrolling around here. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm impressed. I have read, if you look on YouTube for this particular, uh, mini PC people do turn turn these things into gaming like retro gaming emulation machines and I've seen people run a PS2 N64 um, 
even Nintendo Switch, but not completely flawlessly. So that is something to uh, keep in mind. But yeah, this is actually uh, playable. So I'm satisfied with that. But uh, I'm not here to play a game right now, so I'm going to quit. Yeah, so like I said, here's the bottom line. I'm not going to waste your guys' day with uh, just rambling. Good PC. Check out my other video on it, and if you want to know what it's like to open it up, if you want to know what all ports and connectivity it has. But this runs Chrome OS Flex flawlessly. The Linux support is top-notch. You're not going to get Android with Chrome OS Flex, but that's not something I ever use on a desktop anyway. This is a really good option if you need a desktop computer for a kid, for a parent, or just for yourself. Um, because frankly, with the performance on this thing, if it wasn't for the pathetic Chrome OS file manager, this could be my main PC for work. I could do total all-day web development on this thing. But the Chrome OS file manager just makes me so upset right now. And I've talked about that in another video, and it hasn't improved. But uh, that's neither here nor there. You guys let me know what you think about this PC. If there's anything you want me to test on it, I will. I'm super impressed with it, and for the price, it's hard to beat. But let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I hope you all have a good day. Bye now.